it gets spun to death. No, no, nobody else wanted to do it because they'd feel sick, but I'm the spin master. I'm the fairground man. Guess what? I'm feeling ill now. That'll do. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Is it afternoon or morning? Look at that, though, the condensation. Yeah, um, technically it's afternoon, I think. <laughs> we're definitely not early birds, especially when we're away, because... Uh, yeah, especially when we're away because literally every day Sam gets up at what 4 30 for work yeah. I'm up at 6 for work every day so when we get a chance to lay in we lay in so um, yeah we do enjoy a good lion but it's difficult here because of the noise and like I said yesterday the families they're up early because kids are buzzing they're raring to go swimming or whatever so yeah it's, it's difficult to, to sleep in but I find the beds quite comfortable I have a pretty good sleep the only issue is they're quite small aren't they Sam yeah, but I sleep in the middle. Sorry, I take up all the room. Uh, sorry. It's a deja vu. It's like yesterday's vlog. <laughs> Gotta wake the kids up. Livia, do you know the time? Um, yeah. What is it? 11. It's gone 11, isn't it? Yeah, we won these. Well, Livy won these in the arcade yesterday. Is that Simone or Pumba from The Lion King? Pooh Bear. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yesterday I think we're gonna go and get a Costa because we, we did have a coffee here but it's just it's not the best so we're gonna get to uh, Costa coffee for a proper coffee. <laughs> <laughs> to the hand I'll get you off. <laughs> what are you doing? You've seen this walk about 50,000 times on the vlog already. <laughs> Budget holiday, 20 odd quid for drinks. Because we had to get everyone drinks. Look at that. Five, well, are they brownie? I've gone for a white hot chocolate, something a bit sweet. On a cold day. Yeah, it's another overcast day but I think the dodgems are open I can see the lights from Costa so hopefully we can have a ride on the super duper dodgems today that's cheered me up great lighting package on that I'm not sure they're open or not they might be open later yeah got the dodgems to do uh, I'm not sure fingers crossed for the dodgems I do think the best way to budget holiday here is if you get an apartment with a kitchen because you can self-cater, can't you? That's a mistake we've made. Obviously, we did try and book that, but they had sold out. So you're forced to, to eat out, really, because you, you've got nowhere to prepare meals. Um, but yeah, if you were looking for a super-duper cheap budget holiday, I would recommend one of the... Uh, one of the Super-duper. Super I would recommend maybe going for a uh, an apartment with a with a kitchen area so you can prepare meals at home. It's just cheaper. This is where most of our money has gone this week, is right, eating out. Yeah, as we've been playing the arcades, uh, we've saved up all of our tickets throughout the week. So hopefully by the end of it, we might be able to get a, a lollipop or something. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we do, we've been saving them up. And I want to go back later and play the axe throwing because I like that game. What I forgot to show you the other day is I thought this was a mini bar at first, but no, it's just a few glasses, not a mini bar, unfortunately. Here we go. Just like that, we are in sunny Brighton. Sunny, but very windy Brighton. Gonna go and do some crazy golf. You'll all be very happy to hear. <laughs> oh, Look at those tasty rims. I swear I saw a sign saying parking was free for four hours. Right. I can confirm the car park is free, which is awesome. 
normally really expensive to park in Brighton, especially if you come during the summer. We come one year and it was so expensive to park. My second time in Brighton, I remember coming in the summer and it was absolutely scorching. We did Brighton Pier, just go check the vlog out a couple of years ago now. So looking forward to coming back. The sun is the sun is threatening to come out. I think the kids want something to eat because they're hungry. Ready for some crazy golf are you playing today or not? No, not interested. I don't know. She might play. Well, I think we're heading to Asda for a meal deal. Yeah, glow in the dark mini golf. Love this. The best mini golf I ever played was at Cardiff. Golf fan, but uh, this one looks really good. They also have a thing called carnival games where you play loads of different carnival games, basically. Just eating my two pound chicken mayo sandwich from Asda. <laughs> Can't go wrong, really. That bench is very bright, isn't it? Very, um, what's the word? Vibrant. It's very hipsterish, isn't it, Brighton? Full of hipsters. I don't know, I haven't seen any. It's cool. We haven't booked an line or anything. We've just turned up hoping to get a game, but it is, it is Wednesday today, so hopefully it should be quiet. But it looks good. Global, let's get you a little bit of footage from inside. Low balls. Brilliant, thank you. Can I go for the yellow? Yeah, you got all different courses here, look at this. So you've got three different courses. The Jurassic one looks amazing, that Jurassic Park, look. You should have done the Jurassic one. And we've got Zootopia, which is the one we went for. Carnival games. Basically, it is what it says on the tin. It's loads of different carnival games, but it's like 10 quid ahead. So I'm not sure we want to pay 50 pound to go through there. Zootopia. Wow, I love it. I love UV golf. Got all the giraffes. It's so funky and it is just, it's so bright and it's so bright and looks absolutely great. Yeah, this is trippy. Acid trip. Yeah, like I said, I won't film all of it. I just kind of show you the course more than anything. Oh, look at that, it's got fire balls out. Oh, he's hit me with a ball. It's like an air cannon where you can fire balls everywhere. <laughs> That's so unique, interactive. It's gonna, gonna get me a bit in a minute, right in the old Gingangoolies. Hey! You go fire balls at Bailey, put them off. But I'll push the button. No, it's that one. Hit him in the face. The Brighton Pride Bridge. Yeah, this is incredible. Really impressed with this. Look at the little seat. The zebra seat. This is so cool, so trippy. Yeah, I love this. Like I said, it's so, just so Brighton. Three different courses, I'd love to try all of them out, but it is quite expensive. It was 50 pounds for us to play one course, so yeah, <laughs> it is expensive. But it's unique. Love the snakes and stuff. Got the massive rhino in the middle. Copyright music. Loving it. I'm winning currently, because I am the master. I am the best at this. And I've got video evidence. I am the best. Libby, you're doing TikTok, sir. Look at the ant on the wall. And the ant there. So cool, I love that. And the parrot. Who's a pretty boy? Brighton Palace Pier. So cool. Yeah, one of the best uh, glow golfs I've played. I've done a couple of these glow golfs and I think this one's fantastic. That's the spider. And you've got flamingos. And you've got a massive, massive gorilla there. I love it. Party like a flock star. <laughs> it's got this huge elephant. Yeah, here we go. 
the, you know, there's a little roundabout and they spin strobe lights. So basically the person who scores the highest gets put in this and gets spun to death. No, no, nobody else wanted to do it because they'd feel sick, but I'm the spin master. I'm the fairground man. Guess what? I'm feeling ill now. That'll do. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, game over. <laughs> oh my God. How do I stop? Where's the brakes? Yeah, we don't talk about uh, golf. Cameron won. Just like that song, we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about uh, Glow Golf. <laughs> uh, we're definitely not pros. Well, I'm not. There we go. That was Glow Golf. Well done, Cameron. I have really enjoyed that. I would like to do the carnival games, but like I said, 50 quid. Uh, I'm not willing to part with 50 notes. It's literally crazy golf heaven round here. There's another one, but I think it's shut, an outdoor one. So many crazy golfs. This is the place to be, Brighton. Come to Brighton if you like your crazy golfs. Here we are in Brighton, a very windy Brighton. We've got the Palace Pier up there. We'll, we'll go up there and take a look. Another crazy golf, mental. The crazy golf capital of the UK, Brighton. Again, it's a pebble beach, so not that good. Go right there, it's a bit windy up here, mate. A bit blowy. Yeah, I've just parked the meme machine here. I think it was uh, £3.20 for two hours. So not too bad, actually. Come in the summer, it's like 15 quid. Yeah, I guess you go for a little wonder. I know they do have a, <laughs> a Taco Bell in Brighton. We all love Taco Bell. A volcano burrito. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. Bit of a chilly one here in Brighton today. It's a bit windy down on the old seafront. God, these steps are so steep. It's absolutely brass monkeys. Yeah, they got another crazy golf. I would say Brighton has the most crazy golfs in the UK. I know they like putting stuff in holes in Brighton. Uh, it's actually open, by the way, Sam. It's actually open. It's open. It's open, but no one, anyone, it's open. Bailey, Bailey, word of advice, and Cameron, if someone drops something in front of you, do not bend over to pick it up. Oh no, I dropped my wallet, pick it up, Bailey. Another crazy golf. What is it with Brighton and holes? No, not glory holes, holes for putting balls in. Oh God, that doesn't, that doesn't sound any better, does it? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely too cold for ice creams. They will shut up. But the actual entrance to the piers, quite nice. It looks a bit tired now, but it's quite nice. I think it's a free entry pier. A lot of the piers you actually have to uh, pay to get on. But I think this is a free entry pier. Brighton Palace Pier. Yeah, it's all out really nice. The lighting package is uh, pretty good. Not even a bulb out, I'm impressed. Got a Zoltar machine from the movie Big, Tom Hanks. Oh, I love these things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I love the architecture in here, it's pretty cool. Oh, the windy limbs. Oh, look at all the birds. Yeah, the pier, the ride to shut, unfortunately, but they, they are a bit funny about filming on the pier. Uh, that's why I've not been back and the rides haven't changed. A bit blowy. A bit blowy. 
we? <laughs> my hip, my hip wouldn't stay up. Final day at Butlins tomorrow. I think me and Libby are going to probably chill out at the fairground for a little bit. Make the most of it. Hopefully the dodging's open there. Here we are. Here lives. Look. Got the amazing air race. I've done this one before. Zamperla air race. You can just see though the rides have absolutely taken a battering being on this seafront. They really have. The, the sea air is no good for rides. Everything looks so battered and worn, but I suppose it's nature of the beast. Uh, they've got the gallopers. Yeah, do check out my Brighton Palace Pier vlog from a few years ago to see everything here. They've got the slip. They do have this really nice ghost train, the Horror Hotel. And the, uh, the frogs. Yeah, this is a really nice... Uh, Ghost train this, if I remember correctly. Really like that. Shame it's not open, I would have done this. And they got turbo. What time do you open? Honestly, rough as a badger's arseless, but somewhat charming. Proper geek shot there, there you go. Some coaster wheels for you all. Yeah, that was Cameron's first ever upside down ride. Believe it or not. Yeah, the, yeah, and the booster used to sit where that uh, rocking tug is now. Yeah, they've got a waltzer here, which is uh, decent. And where the, uh, the rocking tug was is where the, the booster once sat, the Fabry booster, which is one of the best located in the country for the views you've got. Um, I'll try and stick a POV in if I can find one. And you've got the spinning mouse, the crazy mouse here. But you can see by the state of it, it's taken an absolute pounding from the weather. Dodgems, and then you've got a, uh, a log flume across the back. So that's our little tour of Brighton Pier. They do have a twister undercover, which actually has VR on it, which is, yeah, weird. A VR twist. Undercover. And then you got the Wild River, which is a uh, traditional travelling log flume. Fancy a pint, Bailey? No? Cameron, if anybody asks you if you want a foot long, say no. If somebody offers you a facial, say no. Just don't accept anything in Brighton, especially pink cigars. I didn't feel much at Brighton. It started to rain. We went and got some food and then we come back. So good day there in Brighton. Definitely, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an unusual place, Brighton. I like to think of it as a upmarket Blackpool. I'm trying to upload my vlog on the Butlins Wi Fi. It's been uploading all day and it's at 75%. <laughs> Though, That's not bad, is it, for free Wi Fi? Yeah. That's why my Wi Fi's been shared. I'll take it's... all the fucking juice. <laughs> no, Dad. What's your problem? How dare you take all the juice? That's what she said. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Libby, I won, uh, Libby won that, and I won. Let's have a look. Yeah, Libby, I won Elmo for you. There you go. We won, we finally won. About 50 quid later. She's. She's happy. Go there, boys. I love this game. We spend so much money on this game, but it's so much fun. It's actually good value as well. This is amazing. I really do enjoy this game. Oh, that's nice. They're both quite good at basketball. 
Knocked out by the ball. <laughs> Mum's gonna win. No! Oh, yes! So competitive. You're so happy. just been to see the amazing Elton John tribute act there at uh, Reds really really enjoyed that got up started singing and a couple of beers yeah really really good night there the first time we've actually taken in the uh, the entertainment yeah we really really fancied Elton John we love Elton John I think they got Taylor Swift tomorrow all right there Libs Bye. I can smell that from here uh, yeah, I think they've got Taylor Swift tomorrow. Libby, you're a Taylor Swift fan? No, I just... No. I, I, I think they've got Elton... Uh, no, not Elton John. We've just seen Elton John. Yeah, you can tell I've had a couple of points. Um, they've got Ed Sheeran tomorrow. We love a bit of Ed, don't we? Mm, yeah. Ed Sheeran. So we might go and see a bit of Ed Sheeran tomorrow. I think tomorrow, me and Libby are kind of... Oh, hi. Hi, mate. You're right. I love Billy Irish. Yeah, I don't think they've got a Billy Irish uh, tribute act. Maybe wants concert tickets, but yeah, we're not millionaire millionaires. <laughs> Four posters. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think tomorrow is a day. I think me and Libby are going to spend quite a bit of time on the fair. What do you reckon? It's our last full day tomorrow. <laughs> um, I won't film anything Friday because we literally got to be out by 10 a.m. Um, don't do that. I look bald. Uh, you are bald. <laughs> thanks for that, Libs. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I think tomorrow we're going to go uh, see, so spend a day kind of lurking around Butlins. The others have actually gone for a late night chicken run. I think the noodle place is open till 11 p.m. And it's like, what's the time? It's like quarter to 11. And we're all quite hungry. Like I said, we had a Taco Bell earlier and uh, we're quite peckish now. So that's cool. Um, yes, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to spend a day on Butlins. We're going to do the fair. Hopefully, the Dodgeman's open. Uh, do the Chaban and just just do that. So I'll try and film what, what we kind of get up tomorrow. But yeah, we've had a really good midweek break. And, um, I miss my boyfriend. I don't care. <laughs> Christ. For the price, it's, it's an absolute bargain. It really is a bargain. We have spent a bit of a fortune because, like I said, we've been eating and drinking out. And like, my phone for, for a round at the bar there, we had two pints. We had a J2O phone and phone. a glass of rosé. And it was like, and a pack of... Already started crisps. Yeah, it was £31. So, yeah, really expensive. I think that's where these kind of budget oh, holidays get you, is in the, the on site activities and the food and the drink, unfortunately. But, yeah, for the accommodation alone, it's, it's so worth it. It's so cheap. We really highly recommend it. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking this vlog out. If you have enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Tell him, Libs, like, comment, subscribe. Like, and we'll s and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Not early though, because we probably won't be up till midday. We're on holiday, so we're allowed. Right, see you tomorrow. Let's go, let's go, old man.